Hey everyone, welcome back for another brand new video about that show that strikes first and strikes hard with No Mercy, Cobra Kai. No Mercy, bitch! Warning, beyond this point there are spoilers for people who are not up to date on the Cobra Kai series along with the original Karate Kid film and its sequels. In this video we're going to give you our binge breakdown of the brand new sneak peek just released for Cobra Kai Season 3. We also want to speculate on how this new scene changes the way we thought the season would play out. Exactly. And give you our theory on how Kumiko can bring Mr. Miyagi back from the dead. And we don't mean literally, people. First, let's take a look at this scene Netflix just dropped for season three. Daniel starts the sneak peek like this. Everyone looks to me for answers and I'm spinning around so much I can't tell which way is up. Anxiety much? We also want to point out that the beginning of this sneak peek is the middle of Daniel's thought, so clearly we're only getting part of this scene here. From the background, it appears the two are eating at a restaurant in Okinawa, but there's not any other story details that we noticed. Kumiko responds to Daniel's anxiety in true Miyagi style. I used to have this nightmare that I had to go on stage and I did not know the choreography. With a feminine twist. Kumiko's reasoning resonates with Daniel and he seems to calm down. He starts to talk about Mr. Miyagi and how he is the same age Miyagi was when he first moved to California from New Jersey. Bonsai! Who are you trying to fool, LaRusso? You're even older. As Daniel finishes reminiscing over his sensei, he wishes Miyagi could be there to help guide him through the struggles he is currently feeling overwhelmed by. Like his star student breaking his daughter's ex-boyfriend's neck. Kumiko has a strange response to this. I wish she could... Be here to help guide me. I think I can make that happen. Unless she quit dancing for necromancing, Daniel's former flame is clearly talking in some kind of metaphor here. But what a way to end the sneak peek. What do you think? How can Kumiko bring Miyagi back from the dead? Uh, Mr. Miyagi's in trouble! Mr. Miyagi! Go, Miyagi be home for supper. That leads us into our theory, which will cover the Okinawan part of the storyline for season three. We believe in the middle of all the chaos going on at home, Daniel will be called out to Okinawa for a funeral, either Sato or Yuki's. It might even be Kumiko who reaches out to Daniel. Needing an escape and feeling the need to pay his respects, Daniel will head to Okinawa. While he's there, he obviously meets up with Kumiko, and we know from the teasers and trailer that he will be running into Chosen as well. We want to stop here and remind everyone what Cobra Kai's foundation is built on. Redemption stories for former bad guys who weren't really maybe that bad in the first place. But my Cobra Kai is different. It's a place where kids can come and feel like they belong. We believe that Chozen has found a similar redemption and the fight scenes teasing his appearance in the trailer are only meant to make us think he's going to be a villain again. We think that Chozen finally made amends with his uncle who made amends with Miyagi. This moment here when Miyagi saved Sato's life could have been the start of a 35 year old butterfly effect, ironically that began in a hurricane. We know Sato gave the land back to the villagers, but what happened to him after that? What about his martial arts? If his fundamental business philosophy had changed, then he might have revisited his original teachings under the senior Mr. Miyagi in his later years. So when Chozen finally made amends with Sato, they both may have trained together in Miyagi-Do Karate or some sort of hybrid. As Mr. Miyagi and Sato never actually fought, it's unclear who would have been the better martial artist. As Miyagi left town with some level of dishonor after stealing his best friend's love interest, Miyagi's father may have continued his lessons with Sato, before Sato eventually branched off to form his more attack-oriented version of karate that he used to train U.S. soldiers with. Our point here is Sato may know more about Miyagi-Do Karate than Miyagi himself. And Sato may have taught all he knows to Chozen. We believe Kumiko has also buried the hatchet with Chozen and will arrange a meeting between Daniel and his former arch nemesis. The fact that Kumiko is with Daniel at this bar here says a lot. Chozen presumably either owns or manages this place as he is in the kitchen in this shot here that appears to be in the same location as this bar. Kumiko would most likely know of any bars or restaurants that Chozen owned in the area, so the fact that the two of them are here means Kumiko brought Daniel here on purpose to meet Chozen. We think the reason she would do that is so Chozen can teach Daniel-san some pure OG Miyagi-Do karate that comes from the source. That's right, Mr. Miyagi Sr. 
He may even know some Miyagi family secrets as well, but we believe Chozen will act as Daniel Sensei for part of Season 3, where the two will put the past behind them as Daniel grows and learns as a character. Notice where they're fighting. It's in someone's house, and Daniel isn't a gi. This is not some impromptu fight like the end of Karate Kid 2. What do you think? Are they here in a fight to the death, or is Daniel being trained? What does Kumiko mean about Mr. Miyagi? Could Chozen now be a Miyagi-Do expert? Or will he just want a rematch? You'll have a choice. Broken ice, broken neck. And remember, as always, if Miguel dies, we riot. Thanks so much for watching our videos, everyone. As always, we're on the lookout for any new promos and insider info to help prove or disprove all the theories and rumors out there about our favorite show that made karate relevant again, Cobra Kai. Please let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Binge Rampage. Click that notifications bell for our channel so you can see our next video as soon as it comes out. And don't forget to subscribe. I made it 40 years without being in a fight. I thought I was home free. Look, all I could say is I'm sorry, okay? This is obviously unacceptable. And Robbie's his son? What kind of days of our lives shit are you involved in, Daniel? What? I, I gotta go. No, you can't leave me here. What if he comes back?